Oh, hello. How are you? So what I'm going to do now is talk about a little bit more further ways that we can describe our solutions. So, so far we talked about, you know, if we were going to graph a system of two linear equations, we have no solution, one solution, and infinite, infinite many solutions, right? All right. So when looking at it, um, what we're going to now do next is what I want to do is now describe that it is either being consistent or inconsistent, and what exactly does that mean? So we have solutions are going to be consistent if we have at least one solution. So by looking at this, remember our solution is going to be the intersection. So in this case, we don't have any intersections. So these are not going to be consistent. So this is what we'll call inconsistent. Right? So if it doesn't have a solution, it's not consistent, so it's inconsistent. And then as long as it has a solution, at least one solution, which this one does, then it's consistent. And even if it has multiple solutions, it is still consistent. So therefore, these two are what we're going to call consistent. All right. Now, the next thing we need to look at is, are we going to be dealing with dependent or independent solutions? Well, this doesn't have a solution, right? So it's not going to be independent or dependent. There's no solution for us to look at. Here, we only have one solution. So therefore, our solution is going to be an independent solution. And then if we have infinite many um, solutions, we're going to have dependent solutions. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is another way for us to be able to classify our solutions of a linear equa or really system of linear equations. Thanks.